Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nerders. My name is Rich. And I'm Nick. Uh, and today is our discussion and we're kicking off a new series, a new challenge, new... How do you want to describe this? Uh, competition. Competition, okay. Yes. Like sports. Ugh. Um, I'm going to sit here and do this because I don't play sports. <laughs> so, it is... The summer movie season is upon us. Mm -hmm. You were watching this on a... It's Thursday. Yeah. So tonight, this very night. No, this is a Wednesday. Tomorrow. Uh, Civil War. I don't know what day it is. Um, tomorrow, yeah. Civil War officially will come out, thus starting the, the summer, summer movies, summer movie season, the blockbuster season. And as such, we decided to have a little, a little, a, a friendly challenge, a little, okay. a little wager. What do we, what do we bet? We bet the beer. We'll figure that out. Yeah, maybe. Cool. We get a big, um, we can make it a big bottle. Big old bottle. And the big... What we're going to do is we are going to predict the top ten highest grossing domestic re releases okay. of the summer. Beginning this very weekend. So how do you want to do this? Do you want to do this starting from like number ten? Yeah, we'll start at ten we'll go backwards. Okay. Um, starting this very weekend with Civil War. Going until the very last weekend of August. So, and then we will have a winner. So if you choose a movie that you think is giving one of the 10 highest grossing movies of the summer, and it comes out in the third week of August, it only has one week to make money. Mm -hmm. But if you think it will make all the money in that one week, then go ahead. Like last summer, if you had picked Jurassic World, and it only had one weekend, it still would have been one of the highest grossing yeah. movies. Probably like the third highest grossing movie after one weekend. So that can happen. Let's go ahead. Let's go through it. Okay. Uh, we will post pictures of our lists after this airs oh. on Instagram. Okay, so sure. We're going to have it documented proof. On, on the Over Beer Instagram or Instagram? On the Over Beer Instagram. Yeah. You can find that at over underscore a underscore beer. Yes. So, go ahead. What do you think? What is your number 10? My number 10 is Independence Day Resurgence. Okay. I don't think that movie's going to do very well. Mm. I mean, better than some of the stuff that's going to hit the summer, but I don't think in the grand scheme of it it's going to do like yeah, super. It, it might be on my list. Okay. Uh, because I think that nostalgia is going to drive that movie, like it's driven some other movies. It's yeah. going to be big, it's going to have explosions. But I think it's going to be very front-loaded, because I don't think it's going to be a good movie. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to suggest that will be a good movie. Yeah. I love the first movie, but Roland Emmerich kind of <laughs> sucks. So, um, I agree. It's not my number 10, though. My number 10 is... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, or whatever the hell it's called. Okay. Um, Secret of the Use. See, I wish. Uh, I think it's going to be... It's going to make funny. Mm -hmm. Kids like the turtles. I like the turtles. Yeah. Um, the first movie's not great. I didn't think it was awful. I think it's okay. This movie has a lot more elements that I've always wanted to see. I'm so excited a live action about movie. this one. Yeah, right? Oh my God. It has a big opportunity to, to fail, right? To suck. Um, and I, yeah, I, like, I was excited about the first one. I liked it when I saw it, and I came out of the theater, and my buddies and I, like, we were talking about it after the movie, and by the end of our discussion, we were like, the movie had a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. Like, we just started, like, just talking about it, like, oh yeah, well, this part was weird, and this part doesn't make sense. I don't think I like this movie very much. <laughs> but, like, everything I've seen from, like, the trailers and the Bebop and Rocksteady and Casey Jones, like, all this stuff is getting me really Friend. excited about it. Yes. Technodrome. It has everything you've always wanted to see in yep. a live-action Turtles movie. And I think it's going to deliver at least enough to be in that top ten. There's some big movies this year. Mm -hmm. But we'll keep going. What is your number nine? My number nine is TMNT. Okay. All right. So. We're right around the same on that one. Yeah. My number nine, then, is Star Trek Beyond. Oh, okay. Um... So the first Star Trek was a huge hit. Mm. Into Darkness made uh, a little bit less, which is sure. never what you want to see out of a sequel. Wasn't as beloved. I think that this one will feel some of the repercussions of that. No JJ this time. True. Uh, but you have Justin Lin stepping mm -hmm. in, who has been successful. Um, I'm still excited for this movie. The first teaser has didn't do much to re... Was there a second no, teaser? Okay, I was going to say, I haven't seen it. only been one so far. Um, What's coming up? Paramount next month, doesn't it? It comes. It's May. Isn't it, it comes out in June. Oh, June. Okay. Um, Paramount did not bring the movie to CinemaCon, even though 
they had J.J. Abrams, who was still mm -hmm. executive producing, and Simon Pegg together on stage. That's they didn't talk weird. about this movie. That's not a great sign. I think that it's going to definitely... I, I kind of wonder if this movie... It's definitely not going to perform, I don't think, how they want it to. Mm -hmm. And it could be the end of the Star Trek run. I could see this doing two things. I could see this either not doing well at all, yeah. or <clears throat> picking up steam and doing better as it goes on. That'd be nice. Because there's been a lot of people complaining about the teaser and Beastie Boys and blah, 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 blah and all that bullshit. Um, so I could see a lot of people kind of opening well, and go, nope, I don't want to go, I don't really care. And then, if it's good, word of mouth picking up and then it having a little more lasting. And I episode. really hope it's good. I love Star yeah. Trek. Simon Pegg, I love him. He wrote mm -hmm. it, co-wrote it. Um, Justin Lin is a fine director. I hope it surprises us. Yeah. But I think it's going to make a little bit less than before. Okay. What's your number eight? My number eight is Ghostbusters. Okay. I'm still not excited about this movie, but I have a feeling it's going to probably do pretty well. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to do as well as they hope, but... It depends what they're hoping. Yeah. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm assuming it costs more than... Paul Fagg's last couple movies, yeah. obviously, but I don't, I don't think they are expecting this to be like one of the three highest grossing movies of the summer. I think it's going to make a, a good amount of money. I think Spy cracked into last summer's top ten. Did it? Yeah, it still made a lot of money. I hope this, I hope it does well. Um, it's a little bit higher up in my list, so maybe I'll talk a little bit more about it then. My number eight though is a movie that I think is going to do very well, okay. uh, but it doesn't have as long as some of these other movies to do it. And that's Suicide Squad. Okay. Um, I think people are going to be really excited for Suicide Squad. I think I might even be lowballing this movie. Um, but this is where I'm putting it. Uh, it looks fun. It looks good. I hope it delivers. Warner Brothers needs it to deliver, right? Yeah. Um, my only thing with this movie is BBS. I don't think got people jazzed at all. That could hurt it a little. Um, and like I said, it comes out in August. Sure. So. That may or may not be on my list. Um, next up I have for number seven, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I have Born. Mm. Um, I still haven't seen a single trailer for this yet. I haven't watched it. Hey, you didn't watch it? No, I haven't watched mm -hmm. it yet. Um, but all the response that I've heard has been really good. I think a lot of people seem to be excited for a return of Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. And Paul Greengrass. Is he back? Yeah. Cool. Um, all right, so my number seven, then, wait, ten, uh, yes, yeah, seven is going to be Independence Day Resurgence. Okay. Uh, like I said, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to make a lot of money early, and then not so much okay. after, but I think it's going to really make more than it should to start. My number six is Star Trek. Okay. Like I said, I think that has the opportunity to if it doesn't start off so hot. If it's good, assuming it's good, it has a chance to pick up steam kind of through word of mouth. Okay. All right. Um, my next one then is Ghostbusters. Uh, so I'm expecting it to do a little bit more than you. Uh, I think it's going to be a big hit. I think people, there's a lot of, there's a lot of talk about the movie and there's a saying and, and a lot of it is negative, but there's mm. a saying in Hollywood, there's no such thing as bad press, right? Sure. It's still into the public consciousness. Yeah. And I hope, for a variety of reasons, because I like the people involved for the most part, I love the franchise, but most of all, just like that it is another statement that women in Hollywood should be treated properly. I hope that this movie is good. Yeah. And then it does well. Yeah, definitely, you know, you've, you've heard my criticisms yeah, and yeah. my thing of this movie. Your criticisms uh, are not that it is necessarily a female. No, I, I don't have problems with You don't like Melissa McCarthy. No. But not because she's a woman. No, I just don't like her. Um, um, and you don't you don't think it's a funny trailer. That's no, totally understandable. I don't think it's a funny trailer. But I, at the same time, like, I'm not, I don't want this movie to do bad, but I hope it's good. Yeah. And that's when you're going, oh, another Melissa McCarthy, and they're going to ruin Ghostbusters, I hope it sucks. No, I don't, like, I would like it to be good. I never want a movie, like, I don't want it to fail. Um... But uh, number, what is it, number five, I guess, Ron? What are we mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so my number five is Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. um, I know you, you know, BVS, like you said, didn't necessarily make people hype for this, but we have Jared Leto as the Joker. Yeah. Everyone's 
you know, mm-hmm. wanting to see what, how, how can he pick that up after we hit Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. Yeah. You know, Harley Quinn, everything else is going to be in. I don't, there's been some talk about the people upset about the new trailer and seeing people they didn't, didn't know who was in it, so I don't want to go too spoiler into the people that are in it. Like, a non-Suicide Squad character. Oh, okay. Um, so, but I think it's, I think it's enough for people to be like, wow, okay, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm probably lowballing it. Mm. I think it's going to do really well. I'm excited about it. Um, the other, the other thing that it has going for it is, uh, as you might have realized as we're going through this list, this is the, the first superhero movie either of us to talk to. Yeah. It feels like there's a, a non-stop influx of superhero movies, and I'm still all about it. Mm-hmm. But this summer is actually real light on superhero movies. Yeah. There's really only one other one. And it's... There's two. Now nah, there's two other ones. But they both come out two months before the movie. Yeah. So people will be ready for that, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so my next one is Jason Bourne. Okay. Uh, so definitely a little bit higher up than you. Uh, the... The other Bourne movies, specifically the other two, Matt Damon, um, Paul Greengrass movies, Supremacy and Ultimatum, did gangbusters. Yeah. Um, I think, again, people have not seen that character in a long time, and it looks great, and it's got a good supporting cast, Tyler Lee Jones, Alicia Vikander. Um, I'm excited. Cool. Um, my next on the list, my number four, is X-Men Apocalypse. I think people seem to be really excited for this. People still love X Men. Um, I still need to see Days of Future Past as the last one, um, but everyone I know who's seen it is like, "You need to see it. It's great." Yada yada yada. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think this is going to do really well, and I might probably should have switched this with what I have for my number three, mm-hmm. but I think it's going to do. It's high up there. Yeah, people are. Um X-Men Days of Future Past was far and away the highest grossing, uh, lose something? I lost my pen. Oh, there it is. It's caught in the chair. It was far and away the highest grossing X-Men movie to date, the last one, so that's always a good mm. good start for a movie. Uh, its predecessor was seen by a lot of people. Um, part of what that movie had going for it, though, was it had the original cast yeah. and the new cast together. This really doesn't have that. Mm. But this is the first movie that has, like, crazy-looking action. Yeah. That's going to help. And I think we've had enough time with this new cast now that for people to be yeah, attached I, I to it. Yeah, I would think so. Um, one thing I think it has going against it, I think Apocalypse, Apocalypse looks stupid. I have news. Yeah, he looks dumb. I like Oscar Isaac, yeah. but he looks stupid. I don't think he looks dumb, but I'm. he could look... He looks have like you I seen news. the new trailer that came out this no, week? No, I have not. I the new trailer kind of, that came out this week spoils something that... Which is why I've not watched it. Um... I have a feeling it's probably going to be on Civil War. Yeah. Um, It's something that I already assumed was happening, and a lot of the sites that posted the trailer gave it away in the the, the description of the trailer, too. So, you know, it is what it is, but it's the kind of thing that's going to further sell people on this movie. Uh, It's also my number four. Did I say that? Um, No. Anyway, yeah, we both have it in the same spot. I think it's going to make a lot of money. But um, Speaking of idle guys, not to to break... What did you think? Uh, we haven't talked about this yet. What did you think of Rita Repulsa? We didn't talk about that. Last I don't time? think so. Hmm. She is fine. Okay. I don't know. I think she looks cool. I'm, yeah, no, I'm no, all, no. like I'm all people are like, oh my god, that's not Rita Repulsa. Like, no, it's not the same goofy looking thing from the original. But you know, it's you know they're obviously hinting at Green Rangers. Yeah. Now. I think I, I heard a whole discussion about is she going to be the Green Ranger? Mm, I don't think that's the case. No, I think because didn't didn't the Green Ranger somehow like come from? Yeah, yeah. Her she, in the creates, show? she creates him, okay. and he's evil at first. Yeah. And then they turn him. Um, I think it'll be the same thing. Yeah. I th- like I saw that first photo of it, and I was like, wow, like that looks really fun. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. it's cool, but it's also cartoony. Mm-hmm. It's a li- which is what it should be. Yeah. Um, all right. What's your number three? My number three, I have The Conjuring Two. Um, the first one did incredibly well. I think the only thing it has going against it is Annabelle. Yeah. So I could see people having a bad taste in their mouth from that, but... Maybe. People were scared of that movie, though. Really? Yeah, idiots. Uh, made money. So, Benny, you know, The Conjuring, though, it brought out the hardcore horror fans and, like, the casual... It kind of brought everybody into that. It's a good movie. I like that movie uh, a lot. I do, too, and I think this has the chance to... 
I like the idea of seeing the stories that these guys, these two yeah. people are tackling. Um, I definitely agree. I think that movie is going to do well. Mm -hmm. um, the first one made over a hundred million, which was monster for what yeah. it cost, and this one I'm sure doesn't cost much more either. My only worry would be, I have all the faith in the world in James Wan, mm -hmm. but like, for example, um, what the hell is his other big one? This other horror movie? Saw? Yeah, the friggin' with the there's one before that with Patrick Wilson, too. Oh, Insidious. Insidious, right? Yeah. Insidious Chapter 2, kind of a letdown. That was weird. I didn't like that movie. And that movie didn't do as well as Insidious. No. Thing. So, if... But I feel like people went... More people flocked to Conjuring than they did Insidious. Yeah, but Insidious got big. Yeah. Um, actually, I think the second one did make more, but then it, it like was very, very front-loaded. Yeah. My only thing would be is if it's not a good movie, that could hurt it. Yeah, I mean, I have faith in them. I, I think he will do it. I hope they do. I'm excited for that. I would love to see them do a third one and have them tackle the Amity case. That'd be cool. Because, like, I, I love the original. I actually kind of dig the remake, mm -hmm. but I would like to see it kind of from there. Like the Ryan Reynolds one. Yeah. yeah. Like it's fine, but I'm, it's. I would like to see them kind of tackle that. Yeah, I hope he makes another one. Because uh, after this, he's going off as of now to do Aquaman. Um. And even if really? they even if they cancel Aquaman, then he's got um, what Robotech or something. Is he doing Robotech? I think so. Robotech or some robot. Oh, um, let us Ultron. know. Let us know in the comments. Uh, What's your number three? My number three is not The Conjuring Two. It's probably the furthest from The Conjuring Two. Okay. And that's The Secret Life of Pets. Oh, okay. Minions made a billion dollars. Despicable yeah. Me 1 and 2 made millions and millions. There's no minions in Secret Life of Pets. No, but it very clearly says, and you know what people love almost as much as minions? Pets. Pets. I hate those fucking minions. And this movie, every time I've seen the trailer in a theater, it kills. Really? People love I remember movies. seeing that trailer like a year ago, and I haven't really seen it much since. Oh, man. We see a lot of kid movies, mm -hmm. and it is on every single one. Right. But I'm sure when I guess see Jungle Book and Utopia, it'll probably be on both of those. Um, this movie's going to make a lot of money. Yeah. And they're going to put a lot into the marketing of it. And they already have for a year, like over a year. Mm. They seeded that with minions. Well, I remember when that came out, and I got like, and then Zootopia was in it. Like, Wait a second, was Zootopia the pets? No, there was two of them. Oh, it's um, it's going to do real well. Yeah, I don't have that. Actually, that's one I don't have on my list. Um, but it's not dissimilar to what I have for number two, which is right. Finding Dory. Yes. I think that's going to do yeah. huge. Finding, I mean, Finding Nemo, I believe, was the highest grossing movie of that year. Yeah. People love... That was the first... I think it was the first Pixar movie to make as much as it made, whatever it made. Really? Yeah, of the four. Um, it's also my number two. Okay. So good. It's going to do great. I hope it does really well. I hope it's... I have not been impressed with the trailers. I saw the new one. Yeah. It was cute. Yeah. There's just, um, I it's don't, not I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm not, I'm not excited, and I hope it, I I hope it changes that. I know some people who are avoiding the trailer because they don't want to really see anything about what it is, but it's a different direction than what I thought it was going to be about. Really? It's kind of what I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, it, it, in some ways, it looks like the first movie again. Which, from the title, I kind of figured... I mean, I figured that would be the but idea, but... I'll, we'll talk after. Andrew Stanton uh, had a big misstep with John Carter, even though I enjoy that movie. I don't know if we disagree on that. I still haven't seen John Carter. Um, but in animation, that guy has has killed it. Um, Wally, Finding Dory, yeah. Finding Nemo, uh, and then he also co-directed one of the early ones. Yeah. I don't remember. Bugs Life. No, I don't think so. I think he co-directed that with Lasseter. Yeah. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Let us know. We're probably wrong. Alright, so I'm assuming we both have the same number one. We're about to see it. Yep. Um, Civil War. What's going to make more than this? This is going to be huge. It's going to be monster. It is sitting, <clears throat> as when we're recording this, at a 98% out of a fair amount of reviews, because mm -hmm. it's already out in some place in the world. Most critics have already seen it. It looks great. I'm getting very excited for it. Yeah. Apparently the new elements are killer. 
not just Spider-Man, but mm -hmm. apparently Black Panther is real cool. Cool. Um, I'm excited. It's apparently fun, but serious and good and great, and I'm excited. It's going to make a lot of money, yeah. and it has a little bit of time to make money. That's part of the problem with these summer it's movies. It's true too. Every week there's some big new movie. This has a couple weeks of separation. Mm -hmm. And but Jungle Book has still been making a lot of money. Yeah. To true. the point where I kind of wonder if Disney sort of wishes they had released Jungle Book a couple like a week earlier than mm -hmm. they had. So it wasn't competing. I think that they were worried understandably in advance about releasing it too close to Batman v Superman. That ended up not being an issue. Yeah. That movie petered out immediately. <laughs> Real quick. Even though it's already at a three hundred million. Yeah. Plastic. But that was what was it like the quickest drop off <laughs> from I mean, one of the lowest, yeah. So, we both think Civil War, we both think Finding Dory, but then yeah. our lists are kind of different. So. Yeah, we've got a lot of the same stuff <clears throat> on there. Yeah, yeah, there's but only, there you had Conjuring, and I didn't, and I have Secret Life of Pets, and, and that was it. Yeah, I think. I think everything else we had on there, but it was... But the placing. So we're going to update That's on what that. it's going to be. <clears throat> Probably do an update at some point in May, because a lot of the movies we guessed will be yeah. then, and then we'll do one each month of the summer. Until we have a winner, you, can, you too can play along at home. You can tweet at us. Mm -hmm. Your list. Yeah. want to know. Let us know. That'd be really cool. Yeah. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Rich Belson. I'm at Stonks. The channel's on Twitter at OABeer underscore official. And you can email us at OverBeerOfficial at gmail.com. <coughs> We're on Facebook at Facebook.com slash OverBeer. Yeah. And on Instagram, Over underscore A underscore Beer. Mm. And we have a new U new URL to give you guys sure today. Sure do. For what, is, what do we got? What do we, what's, the, what's the site called? Pornhub. We don't have a Pornhub URL. <laughs> we could work on getting a porn. Is that a thing? Do they have URLs? I don't know how you get stuff on there. You could Google it. Don't do it at work, though. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Go go Google how to get a URL on Pornhub and let us know. Um, but we do have a YouTube URL to give you, and that's youtube.com slash overbeer. Thank you guys for helping us reach that goal of over 100 subscribers. Um, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy these, um, go ahead and, and click the subscribe, share with your friends, let them know. Um, and if there's a discussion or something that you want us to have on the show that we haven't had yet, you can go ahead and email us, like I said, overbeerofficial.gmail.com or tweet at us or reach out to us at the many social sites that we have. And they're all going to be down here at the bottom of the screen. Um, that'll wrap things up for today. Yeah, stay tuned. This week we still have some other good stuff coming up. We yeah. have 20 questions. We have 20 questions coming up tomorrow and then hopefully Civil War. We'll have Friday a Civil War review real, as soon as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, drink up. Butter me up.